filial piety is the source of all virtues, the holy teachings of Buddha Nanping Ji Dian. Why do I keep asking you to practice filial piety, repay what you are given, and fulfill your holy vows? Remember when you were a baby and your parents helped you learn to walk, when you fell, helped you get back on your feet, while you were sleepy, who took pains to carry you on their back, when you threw a temper tantrum, who always tolerated you and forgave you. It was your parents. Now they are getting old. It is your turn to pay a debt of gratitude by supporting and taking good care of them. The karmic affinity is absolutely no accident, especially the bonds between father and son, husband and wife, relatives, friends, or even neighbors. As the proverb goes, the karmic affinity. Enables people who are thousands of miles apart to meet each other. Otherwise, they don't know each other even if they are face to face. Cherish and better every affinity. Your affinities will help you not only in the current life, but in for future lives as well. Filial piety is the source of all virtues. It is also the respect for the root of your life. In fact. The opportunity to fulfill your filial duties and obligations is not always there. Some people want to do it but find themselves unable to, because their parents have already passed away. This is life. It is also unpredictable. We never know what will happen in the next moment. Their proverb carries a great message. Filial piety is the greatest virtue of all. I hope you all can fulfill your filial duties to parents. In fact, a person can never achieve Buddhahood without fulfilling his/her filial duties, examining the lives of all the saints and sages throughout history. You will find that none of them has ever been disobedient to their parents. Can you see that while you are applying filial piety to daily existence, your children are virtually emulating you? They are learning filial piety from you. Therefore, if you do not fulfill your filial duties, you are disrespectful to your parents, and your children will follow your example, treating you the same when you get old. Such is called punitive justice. It is a kind of cause and effect. You reap, reap that what you sow. Filial piety comes in different levels. The first level of filial piety is to support one's parents physically, providing them with sufficient food, clothing, and shelter. The second level is to be obedient and fulfill their parents' wishes. A still higher level is achieved by helping them. Understand and cultivate Tao. Sincere and diligent cultivation on your part can benefit your parents, even if they are already passed away. There is a great truth in the saying: A real person's success in Tao cultivation can benefit all his/her ancestors. Taking, take Guan in Bodhisattva for example. All of her sisters benefited from her Tao cultivation and has attained a holy status in heaven. Besides, taking good care of yourself is the promise of fulfilling filial piety. Where goes the sutra? Our bodies, to every hair and bit of skin, are received by us from our parents, and we must not presume to injure or wound them. This is the beginning of filial piety. Indeed, taking good care of ourselves is really the basic of filial piety. You cannot deceive yourself, nor can you deceive others. There is much wisdom in the saying: "Live up to your clear conscience, even while alone. Don't think you can get away with disrespectful behavior because nobody is around." God is watching over everybody. You are all very smart. 
I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Hopefully, you can all be filial. While cultivating and propagating doubt, you have to follow the right path. And in fulfilling filial duties, you must treat your parents with kindness and pleasant countenance. Do it in time, and don't wait until it is too late. Time and tide wait for no man. It will cause you a lifelong regret if you don't do it in time. As the saying goes, a tree may prefer to be calm, but the wind, the wind will not subside. A son may willingly care for and maintain his parents, but they just pass away. So do it here and now. Filial piety can also be a great virtue passing from generation to generation. A filial person is sure to have a filial children. I hope you all can pass this virtue on and on forever in your family. Your life is in your own hands. It is up to you whether whether to be good or bad, virtuous or evil. As Tao cultivators, we should all be good and virtuous. Filial piety is the greatest virtue of all. Keep this in mind when we conduct ourselves and attend to business, making our utmost efforts always to practice filial piety. If everybody can do so, we will build a very sound society, a very sound nation, and ultimately a very sound world where we. All can live together in peace and harmony.